Yeah. My name is Will Glass. I'm a hip hop artist who goes by the name Intrinsic, and I'm the executive producer of the Toy Gory Cypher Animation. What's up, everybody? This is Jonathan Gilbert with Forgotten Prophet Studio with Jason the Krugers. I'm the producer for Toy Gory, and uh, I'm going to give you a little bit of behind the scenes footage, tell you know how the story came together and uh, what it took to make this thing come to life. I was looking to take our Cypher video series to the next level and due to the fact that Shaggy 2 Dope wasn't um, available to shoot any footage, we had to get creative. After some ideas back and forth with current producers, um, I realized I wanted to use his action figure and do a still frame animation video. So through a mutual friend, I was introduced to Jonathan, who him and his team did an excellent job. I saw some of his original samples of animated action figures, so I knew this was the right fit. So after a bunch of different ideas back and forth with Jonathan, we came up with this storyline where Shaggy is found in the basement and the toy follows him throughout his day and um, sort of inspires him to do horrific acts. This is going to be our torture room for the video. Got some rusty tools. What's that? Hatchet? Couple hatchets. This will be the treasure trove that the kid finds. We showed our show after starting to kind of have his mental breakdown in this area. Uh, we put blood on his face and then did a still. Then uh, we decided that we would get face paint, kind of get him like a juggalo or wicked clown. Then we were able to have our buddy Jerry Giat from Snake Bayou Tattoo come up here. We had one of the artists on the video send us his verse on a green screen and put it to the back and did an overlay with lower the opacity so that way he kind of had a ghostly feel to him. There's tons of cool Easter eggs in this project, and we're very excited to be launching a complete franchise involving other artists from across the United States. It was a badass idea. It's something I fully support, and one of the things I find that gives uh, an advantage to those who participate in it is you're not just a hip-hop artist, you're not just a horrorcore rapper. You're somebody that's part of a bigger story. I think we did a great job collecting a bunch of different diverse artists in different um, settings. We have the Native American artist, and then we have the African American artist with the mask on, and then we have more urban and more rural. You know, Crypto Man from Vermont, he's there. In the, in the park, in the woods, and then YDMC from Oakland is there in the hood. I wanted to capture the essence of the underground. The way it came together was so amazing. We're gonna start volume two, starring Jamie Madrox, who has um, his own action figure in the works right now, which will be done by the time um, we release. That's gonna be even bigger, that's gonna be better. We're gonna add some more effects, try to step up the game a little bit, and uh, bring this story to life in a unique way that hasn't been done before. We hope you enjoy it. It was a great experience and we're casting now for part two starring Jamie Madrox. Action, 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 action.